There will always be about 13 to 15 potters on one shift. Do you know how many steps they take every day? It will be about 18 to 20,000. The sample is brought by hand. Although we have a pneumatic tube system for most of our samples, these are high risk cases and we don't want to risk the sample getting stuck in the pneumatic tube. It's not just about the contamination and the PCR, it's about the basic elements of laboratory practice, which is making sure you've got the right patient and the right sample. If you get the sample from the wrong patient at this stage, it's a complete disaster. These fast 10 minute test kits detect antibodies to the virus and they take time like 10-14 days to appear in anybody's blood. That's too slow, we can't wait that long. So this is the first stage of the PCR process which is the extraction. In the safety cabinets the air can only flow in this direction which means that any virus in there is kept inside to ensure the safety of our operators. She's mixing up the samples just to make sure that any human tissue that's adherent to the swab goes into the liquid because the liquid is where we extract from. This is the room where we prepare the master mix. It's in a completely separate room. gowned up just to protect himself. He's protecting the master mix because contamination at this stage could ruin the whole run. This is the patient samples. This is the extracted RNA. These are the strips that is to be put into a PCR machine. Then I'll be adding the master mix first, then the sample into each individual well. Virus. The reaction depends on heat. The samples are heated up and the temperature comes down and that's the cycling process. In a simple way you could say we put in a specific Lego brick that combines with a specific virus Lego brick and once the bricks bind, then they can build up into a bigger a tower of Lego and that's what we will detect. 
Once the result is out, they will stand or write the results here. For detector, we will write it de detected DET. Now to do one test will take only three hours. But when we're testing two, three, four hundred samples, they don't all come at the same time. We have to factor in the fact that the sample needs to be taken from the patient, brought to the laboratory, and that itself can be a delay of one to two hours. We have been working more shifts than usual. In the day we work actually eight hour shifts. In the night we work 12 hour shifts. The worst is at 4 a.m. when we are already like very zoned out, but we still have to concentrate very hard. It'll be quite tiring like because we really really cannot afford to make any mistakes. This is our daily PCR testing workload going back to the 4th of February. And as you can see, the, the, the workload has gone up to a maximum of 750 on the 23rd of March. When we have the staff, then we have to get more equipment. And when we get more equipment, we mean more staff. And each member of staff takes two weeks to train. So it's like Spider-Man crawling up the wall, except very slowly. Right now, 800 with the staff and equipment we have is the maximum we can do. My colleagues and I, we believe that this war is not just fought in the hospitals alone. We hope to flatten the curve. So it's really important for everyone to stay home and help us.